Hi, I'm Tom from Wilkinson Star. In this short video, we're going to take a quick look at the new Jassic 500 amp pulse mig. So, in this package, you get the 500 amp power source, separate wire feed unit, and the 5 litre integrated water cooler. It's a three phase machine, it takes a 400 volt 32 amp supply with an effective current rating of 28.6 amp. It's got an insulation protection rating of IP23S which basically means that when it's in the stationary position it will withstand water droplets from say vertical to around 50, 15 degrees and it'll also go a long way to help prevent any failures due to dust ingress. It's got a smart cooling system so the cooling fan works on demand as does the water cooler. The water cooler can be turned off if you wish to run an air cool torch at lower amperage and this is done in the sub-menu. There's a separate video showing the sub-menu and we go through all the programs and what we can do there. We're going to the back of the machine We've got the interconnection cables, rotary isolator, which we'll turn on now. And we've got the cooling uh, plug at the back as well. So now what we'll do, we'll just have a quick run through on the panel. So what we've got here now, we've got the left hand display, which is controlled by the left hand encoder. And on here we can adjust and display the current in amps, the wire feed speed or plate thickness. And also we've got the time in seconds, which is for any upslope and downslope or gas flow time. The right hand display, controlled by the right hand encoder and here we can adjust and display voltage, inductance and then also the job number. So this machine has the capabilities of saving up to 20 stored jobs, 0 to 19 and the way we do that is select the job number you want to save under, set your parameters and then carry out welding and it will automatically save it to that job number and you can later recall that under that job number at a later date. So over here we've got the welding processes, so starting with standard MIG into single pulse MIG DC MMA and DC lift TIG. You'll notice that in DC MMA and DC lift TIG, the VRD is on, and this can be again turned off on or off in the sub menu. So now looking at the parameter steps, starting here with the pre flow gas time in seconds, we your start current, your upslope time in seconds, and then we move on to your peak current setting. So we set this in synergic off either the wire feed speed or the plate thickness. We set off a plate thickness on here and we can adjust this up to 25 mil depending on the parent material and the wire diameter selected. Then we move on to the downslope time again in seconds. We've got the finished current and then we've got the post flow gas time again in seconds. So in standard MIG, if we move on to the parent materials, we've got steel with an arg shield mix, stainless steel, steel, and then two variants of steel flux cord wire. Moving on to the single pulse, we've got aluminium, aluminium silicon, aluminium magnesium, steel with an argil mix, and the stainless steel. And then move on to the wire diameter size, we've got from 0.8 to 1.6 mil. And then we've got the torch trigger settings, from spot time, two touch operation, four touch operation, and then the step operation which basically means each press of the trigger will take you, take you through each step on the parameters. So then we've got the gas flow check, and we've also got a latching inching button for feeding the wire through your torch initially. We'll now take a look at the wire feed unit. So onto the wire feed unit, we've got left on display showing amperage, which can be trimmed here, with the left hand encoder. We've got the right hand display for a voltage trim. So by increasing this, we can increase the art length or decreasing it, we can decrease the art length. And then what we've got here is an inching button to feed the wire through the torch again. And then we've also got a lock mechanism. So this means that when the wire feed unit's over at the job and your power source is five, 10 meters away, you can lock the settings so no one can alter the settings on the actual power source. So now we'll set the machine up for some wild seal and do some welding. So now we're going to set up in single pulse for some mild steel, so obviously we're in Synergic. Then we're going to set up for the steel, actually universal mix. We're going to be using some of the new Gecka 1.2 SG2, and we're going to be in the two touch operation. So onto the parameter steps, we'll start with the pre-flow gas. So we're going to turn this down to 0.5 seconds. The start current, or your hot start. So this is now at 1.2, so that means you've got 120% of your peak current. So we don't want any hot start, so 
I'm going to leave it, I'm going to put it to 1.00, so it's the same as our peak current. The upslope, I'm going to turn down to minimum. The peak current, so we're going to be in synergic, so I'm going to go to the plate thickness. I'm going to set this up for 6 mole plate. And then onto the downslope, again, I'm going to turn this down to minimum. The end current, we'll leave that as it is. And then finally, onto the post slow gas, I'm going to turn this down to 1.5 seconds. And then we're ready to weld. So well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. For any more information, please visit the jassic.co.uk website.